All right, good afternoon once again, folks. <laughs> From Suresh's Kitchen. Yes. And today we're going to make a mutton curry. Mm. Okay. We've been a little bit busy yeah. uh, with work and all that, so that's why we've been away. Uh, we're back now, so without wasting time, let us just get into the wok, in this case a pressure cooker, mm. and let's see uh, how we prepare this dish. Okay, cheers, enjoy. <laughs> all right, people, so here we go. This will be a very short recipe because it's going to be pressure cooked. So we'll run it through very fast. So chef. Okay, here we have oh, yeah. chef, uh, bay leaf, uh, uh, cinnamon so, stick, mm -hmm. and we have uh, cardamom, cyanese, some pepper, okay, cloves, cloves. That will be one. And then this is uh, ground onions, one big onion, one tomato. Ground. We also oh, blended add, actually. Yeah, yeah, blended, and also we also adding one. Um, uh, one whole tomato diced as well. That's right. Some and garam masala. Potatoes. This is uh, cascas. Cascas. Magic potion. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> yes. And of course salt to taste and yeah. carrots. Carrots, yeah. yeah. One mm. carrot and uh, three uh, potatoes. Yeah. Diced uh, tomatoes. tomatoes. And this is half kilo of mutton. I've yeah. marinated it with uh, Ginger garlic paste and yogurt. Okay. okay, two tablespoons of yogurt and ginger garlic paste, two tablespoons. And we've also added some chili chili powder. Yeah, inside. one uh, one and a half tablespoon of chili powder. Okay, we're and doing a turmeric as well. Okay, we're doing a very small portion. That's why it's going to be a very fast recipe. That's right. All right. So. Okay, so in the pressure cooker here, we have like uh, four tablespoons of olive oil. We're using olive oil. Mm -hmm. Into that goes the Spices. All the spices. Okay. Starts crackling a little bit. Yeah, crackling into that goes the onion and tomato. Onion and tomato. Okay, we're going to let this saute for a while, let the oil separate. Yeah. So before we put in the meat, this has to render. That's right. Okay. Okay, so into this now, I'm going to add curry powder. Okay, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Okay, because we're using only half a kg of mutton. That's right. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Into that. And I want the masala to cook. If not, uh, it will not. Again, you don't want it to be powdery. The reason That's right, why. We, yeah. And most times, if you followed our, our recipes, we let it, the oil split two to three times. That's before right. We That's do right. That. And this has got a little bit of North Indian in, uh, influence to it because I'm using yogurt. Yogurt in the marinade. Okay, yeah. yogurt in the marinade and also garam masala. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna let this. Uh, Should we put the cask cask in right now? So yeah, it'll just, just a little bit yeah. for flavor, actually. Yeah, for flavor, but the, that will be after just after the meat. Wow. Right. Okay, so you can see the oil has split now. So into that goes the mutton. Meh. <laughs> Special effects today are <laughs> done by Mr. Zinu. This is a uh, local goat, huh? Hmm. And uh, local goat, of course, is less uh, less fat. Less fat. Hmm. So let that cook for a while, and into that, just a little bit of cascas. Cascas. That's like uh, say half teaspoon, lah. Huh? Hmm. Okay. Your choice of ground cascas and uh, yeah, you can add ground cascas, but then you don't know what else they're putting in that. Right. So if you're using the original cascas. It makes a lot of sense. That's right. So you get the real thing. Let this cook. It's like Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, let this cook for a while. Okay, okay. It's, it's just been stirring just for a matter of minutes. That's right. Uh, and it'll be a great time for us to add some seasoning to it. That's right. So I'm going to add. Garam masala. Okay, this is homemade garam masala, so which is coarse. That's right. 
and into that I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt first. Mm. You okay. can always add that later. Because when you add the potatoes, it will absorb more salt. That's right. Here we go. Stir, stir, stir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then smell the aroma actually. Wow. Alright. Do you put the diced tomatoes in right now? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to add the diced tomatoes. Into that goes diced tomatoes. This is one big tomato diced. Yes. Some people will add tomato puri, but uh, we are adding uh, diced tomatoes. And tomato puri makes it even more tangy. Right. And earlier already in my uh, onion, there was the the blend onion, the blend onion, onion and uh, tomato in it. Okay. Mm. So there yes. we are. We'll leave that there. Can you add some water for me, Suresh? Sure. Okay. So maybe half it. half cup water. Okay. Right. Yep. And then. You're just gonna cover this. And uh, down. Just leave it be. Yeah. Looking at 10 whistles. Okay. okay. We'll be right back with you. Thank shortly. you. Okay, so now 10 whistles done. Opening this up. Two. Yummy. Okay, into that goes the. Potatoes. potatoes and the carrots. carrots. Okay, we have a choice now to just continue with the pressure cooking, uh, pressure cooking method, or we, we can just let it render yeah. and cook at normal. Yeah, which is a safer way of looking at it that's because right, that's you don't right. want the meat to flake. The reason why I use the pressure cooker is for the meat to cook. Meat to cook. So the potato won't take very long ah, because so it's cooking so small, time is small cut potatoes. You yep. see, small pieces. So you just need to add some water to this if you can. Yep, sure. Just about right. right. So I want this to just cook and I'm not going to cover it. Mm. Okay, we'll put it on uh, slow heat. Mm. There are people who actually put sliced onion at this yeah, point yeah. as well. Yeah. You can if you want. It becomes a sweet. We've made this recipe mm. before on uh, I think May 10th of our episode. But there's mm. some variation here. Yep. This actually goes very well with uh, chapati. Mm. You know, because you can see that the uh, texture texture is not too watery. It's just just nice for chapati or even wholemeal bread, whichever. Or you know what, baguette or baguette, call it yeah. bread or French loaf, you call it. Mm. Uh, that will be just perfect for this. Now, mind you, the potato absorbs salt, salt. so we might yeah. need to add We yeah, might add much salt later. later. So, this gives me an option, you see, mm. to add water, uh, sorry, add salt. Mm. If I pressure cook it, you won't be able to, yeah. be able to uh, taste it and, and add salt. Or, mm. That it's tastes fine. pretty good. Alright, we'll be back with you guys in a short spell for our presentation. That's right. And... Um, Happy cooking Thank and you. we'll be signing up shortly. shortly. Bye. Alright folks, so we are turning off the heat now. Mm -hmm. You can see it's all well cooked. Okay, I'll show you how this looks. Into that. Yep. So there we are, that is the end product. Hope you guys try it. Mm. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. So there we are folks, that's a uh, mutton curry. We have done mm -hmm. one before on May 10th, mm -hmm. but this is a, a similar recipe, but Just a, bit, a little bit, bit different. Yeah. 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 This is made a little bit, the gravy is much more thicker, it's good for chapati like I told you mm -hmm. earlier. It's good for French loaf or even normal bread, right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so hope you guys uh, try it and uh, give us some positive feedback. Yes, as usual, <laughs> negative feedbacks are not welcome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so till we meet again, signing off, Captain Marvel and Suresh. Ad stream Suresh from Suresh's Kitchen. Take Thanks. care. Have a good weekend. Ciao. Okay. Bye bye.